The last story problem that we want to look at involving exponentials is compound interest. And compound interest is always based on the following formula. The amount of money we have after t years is equal to the amount of money we invest times 1 plus the interest rate divided by n raised to the n times that period of time. So notice we have an exponential going on here. The t's match. And for any given problem, the r, the n, and the n, and the p are constant. So the blues are constants. They only change if we reinvest and change the whole problem. But for a given problem, these are the same. Now, p is the principal. That's how much we're going to put into it. r is our annual interest rate. And t is, of course, time. And a is the amount at t, at time t. The n is this interesting thing, and it's called the compound factor. It's how many times per year we recalculate the interest. And so it's measured in periods per year. And so some important ones. If we're semi-annual, that's two times per year, so n is two. If we're monthly, n is 12, because we do it 12 times a year. If we're quarterly, n is four, because that's four times per year. And for this book, if we're daily, we're going to do it 360. We're going to just assume 30-day months. They're all the same, and it always works out right. So let's use this in a particular problem. So here is an example of a compound interest problem. Suppose that you deposit $2,000 into a Roth IRA. Determine the future value A. If the deposit earns 12% interest compounded monthly, which is 12 times per year, after A, one year, B, 15 years, and C, 30 years when you plan on retiring. So the first thing we need to do, I, do is identify our values. Here's P. Here's R. Here's N. So my default function is a of t is equal to 2,000 times 1 plus 12 divided by 12, point 12 divided by 12, raised to the 12t. Well, point 12 divided by 12 is 0.01, so this is really 2,000 times 1.01 raised to the 12t. Now, don't make a mistake. Don't distribute that 2,000 through, because notice the parentheses and the power. The power takes priority over the multiplication. So this is 1.01 raised to the 12t. So now, for a of 1, which is part a, we just plug 1 in. And we go to our calculator now. And we get 2,000 times 1.01 raised to the 12th power. We get equal. And it shows we have $2,536.48. Thirty-six point four eight. So after a year, we've made five hundred thirty-six dollars. If we let it sit for fifteen years, notice the one point zero one and the two thousand don't change. But now we get twelve times fifteen. So we go back to our calculator and we do two thousand times one point zero one raised to the. I'm going to put this in parentheses just to make sure order of operations works. Twelve times fifteen close equals. Now we've got $11,991.60. So if we can wait 15 years, we've almost made six times our amount of money. The last one, A of 30, if we sit on it for 30 years, we get 12 times 30 up top. So we're going to get 2,000 times 1.01 raised to the 12 times 30, close parentheses, equals. And we'll have $71,899.28. And the nice thing about a Roth IRA, that money isn't taxed if you get into the right Roth IRA and let it sit the whole time. So this just shows how we can use our compound interest money to figure out how much money we can earn down the road.